Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Tobia. We are going to be making my version of Sloppy Joe. This is sort of a survival Sloppy Joe. So as times are getting tough, I figure, well, I have a couple ingredients on hand, so I'll show you guys how to make a uh, fairly quick and easy Sloppy Joe. So I'm beginning here with two pounds of ground chuck and I'm heating about and I'm heated my Dutch oven here a medium high heat. Now if you don't want to use ground chuck you can use turkey, ground pork, chicken, and the choice is yours. If you are um, vegan and vegetarian you know you could use the vegan and vegetarian meat crumbles in place of this. So what I'm doing is I'm just beginning to brown our ground chuck and I'm using my wooden spoon to break everything apart. Now for the measurements there aren't really any measurements and I'll just kind of give you guesstimates. Of course you'll find that pop up in the bottom of the video and in the description box. So I'm going to begin to season my ground chuck. So I'm going to just season it to taste. I'm going to add you know maybe about a teaspoon and have a kosher salt. If it's not enough salt, I can always go in and add more salt later. So I'm going to add roughly two teaspoons of coarsely ground black pepper. Um, you can use white pepper for this too. White pepper is really good. Um, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of chili powder. I absolutely love the flavor of chili powder. And by adding the spices um, just sort of dumping it in. It's going to give a chance to heat the spices up and warm up the flavors. And I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme. I'm going to uh, give everything a mix. And I'm just going to keep mixing for a moment just to make sure everything is nice and coated. And we're going to add a couple more ingredients. So uh, I'll let everything cook just for a few minutes, you know, allow all the spices to really wake up with the meat. And then I'm going to add a few more things here but um, before I do I'm going to just um, remove this from my uh, cooker and I'm going to drain some of the fat out of my Dutch oven so I drained all of the f um, fat I left in like a couple of teaspoons of fat so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add minced onions this is minced dried onions so I'm going to add about two tablespoons I really love the flavors of dried minced onions. So this is perfect. You know, this is part of the survival uh, sloppy joe. We're using ingredients that are affordable, but we still are able to accomplish this flavor. And if you want to use real onions, feel free. If you want to add peppers and uh, just, you know, choose to just add whatever you want to add to your sloppy joe. So what I've done was I have here uh, 15, well this is 14 half ounces of diced tomatoes and then I have Rotel and I took 10 ounce, I took 5 ounces of the Rotel and the diced tomatoes and I put it in my little hand blender to just uh, puree it until I got it as smooth as I could. So I'm going to just dump that in. I'm going to give everything a stir. Then after giving everything a stir, I'm going to add a couple of teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Now, I like, I love teriyaki. I love the flavor of teriyaki. So instead of adding ketchup, I'm going to add uh, a quarter cup of teriyaki sauce. Um, this is one of the things where you just find things you have on hand that you need to use up. Some people like barbecue. You could add a barbecue sauce. Now the last thing I'm going to add here is brown sugar. Um, the brown sugar is good to cut the acidity, especially if you have a uh, you know, indigestion. So um, just add a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. If you don't want to add sugar to it, feel free to leave it out. If you want to add more sugar, add more. If you want to use coconut sugar, that works good too. But the brown sugar, I just like the flavor. Now, if you don't have brown sugar in hand, 
I do have a demonstration showing you how to make your own brown sugar. Just check the description box. So I'm gonna give everything a stir. I'm gonna allow this to come back to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, as you see here, we're gonna turn the heat down to medium heat. So we're gonna cut this covered for about 20 minutes on medium heat. I'm gonna check it in about 10 minutes and I will give it a stir. And also, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell, select all notifications, and please hit the thumbs up and share this video, add it to your playlist. Please support me. So we'll be back once this is cooked. It's been going for 20 minutes and um, I turned it off, so I wanted to show the consistency to you. So this is uh, pretty much a really loose consistency. If you want it to be thicker, just cook it longer. So I'm gonna make my bread and then I'm gonna cook this longer. So I'm gonna let this go into, um, this is at the consistency. Uh, that I desire. So my sloppy joe is finished. I put it on my homemade bread. This is a really quick and easy uh, white bread that you can make in about an hour. Now I slice my bread while it's still pretty hot, but if you let it cool, of course it'll be easier to slice. So um, I cook my sloppy joe for an additional 20 minutes and you see this is the actual texture and I like to put a slice of cheese on top so here's our sloppy joe I'm gonna try to not make a mess it looks so good mmm <laughs> it's really amazing and it certainly is sloppy so there you go how to make homemade sloppy joe with homemade bread don't forget to check the description box for my homemade bread recipe it's absolutely delicious but thank you so much for watching and supporting and please live and be well